Today, I want to take you on a fascinating journey. One that starts with the delightful Jamaican cherry and leads us to the wonders of the human microbiome. Get ready to explore the hidden world within us. Our story begins in my family's backyard where I first spotted the sweet and vibrant Jamaican cherry. It's locally known as Aradiles or Sarisa with its scientific name, Muntingia Calabura. Now, who here in the audience has seen what the Sarisa looks like? Show of hands, please. All right, quite a many few people, thank you. At first glance, it may seem like a simple tropical delight with its vibrant red fruit, right? However, beneath this delectable exterior lies a secret that scientists have recently unveiled. This small but mighty fruit actually contains an array of nutrients and more importantly, dietary fiber, thus making it an unexpected contributor to our health. Well, I guess everybody here in the audience has heard the quote, an apple a day keeps a doctor away, right? Well, in this talk, it's more of a handful of Sarisa can keep the doctor away, and I'm here to explain why. The Sarisa plant has some special stuff in its bark, root, and fruit, which can help protect our bodies. It can help fight off something what we call free radicals, which are these harmful molecules which can protect our body, which can make us sick, rather. And well, how do I know this? Because back in 2020, I actually did a research study which delved into the metabolomics, in vitro assays, and proximate analysis as tools used to establish its molecular diversity and DNA protective activity of this particular plant, the Sarisa. And the results of the study show that it can really fight off those bad guys, having a high DPPH free radical scavenging activity, or in other words, or in simpler terms, a high antioxidant activity. Well, additionally, the fruit of this plant contains something what we call macromolecules, which are carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. And these are essential for our bodies because they're kind of like the fuel that keeps it running smoothly every day. So the Sarisa is not just tasty, it's actually filled with important nutrients that keeps us healthy. The Sarisa is packed with something what we call secondary metabolites. And these are phenolic compounds, flavonoids, and anthocyanidines. Back in 2018, my first research project when I was in junior high school actually looked into these particular compounds. Well, that's such a mouthful, right? You would agree. But what are these compounds anyways? Let's think of the plants as smart chemists. They use these specific compounds to help protect their bodies. It's like they're secret recipes for staying healthy. It's like they're superhero shields, if you want to think about it. That whenever they face threats such as bugs, strong sunlight, infection, it protects themselves from those threats. And well, these natural chemicals are actually created within the plant cells. It's a bit like how you bake a cake and have to mix all the ingredients. Well, similarly, within the plant, the enzymes actually have to work with particular and specific ingredients to create these protective compounds. Now, here's where things get interesting. When we eat the plant, our bodies actually get the taste of these superhero compounds. And well, guess who love these compounds as much as we do? Our gut buddies, the microbes in our microbiome. But what is the microbiome? The microbiome is a complex and dynamic ecosystem filled with these tiny microorganisms that reside within our bodies. These microorganisms, which include bacteria, viruses, fungi, and a whole lot more, actually can have a profound impact on our health and well-being. Let's think of it and imagine a bustling metropolis filled with these tiny little organisms living in and on our bodies. They're incredibly diverse, with different types of species of microbes in various parts of our bodies, such as our skin and gut. Some of these microbes are our helpful partners because they aid with digestion, they help create important nutrients, they can boost your immune function, and may even have a say in your mood and brain power. They're incredibly vital for our health and play a major role in keeping us physically, emotionally, and even mentally healthy. What's fascinating is that these microbe communities can actually change over time and can be negatively impacted by the choices in our diet, the medications we take, or if we get sick. To illustrate this point even further, a study by Bird and Condon back in 2014 actually looked at how the food that we eat 
can affect those microbial communities. These microbes are actually very important, and what we eat can change the types, behavioral, well, behavior and population species of these microorganisms. And the study also found out that if we change what we eat, it can slowly or quickly change the makeup of these microbes living within us. Another fascinating point is that what we were fed when we were newborns, especially if you were breastfed, can have long-lasting effects on our immune system, thus changing the microbes residing within us. This flexibility to its dynamic environment is actually vital for our health. However, if things get out of balance, it can lead to health problems such as diabetes, obesity, or even mental health issues. So, it is crucial to consciously take care of these microbial bodies. Understanding the microbiome is a phenomenal journey because it can change how we practice medicine, improving and saving so many lives and thus creating a new era of healthcare. Let's now pivot from the intriguing world of the human microbiome to, un to unveil the unexpected link which will take us back to the remarkable Jamaican cherry. Now, you might be wondering how these two seemingly disparate topics may seem related. But the story we're about to uncover will actually illustrate the profound interplay that happens between our own biology and the natural world. After all, our bodies are actually made by nature and are intrinsically connected to it. So at this point, we shall now journey from the microscopic to the botanical as we uncover the surprising connection that happens between the cerisa and the microbiome. What's exceptional about the cerisa is its rich fiber content and acts as a prebiotic. It serves as a sustenance for these tiny but essential inhabitants of our bodies. So when we consume the cerisa, we're not just only indulging our taste buds with its sweet and tangy flavor, but we're also giving nourishment to our internal allies, the gut microbiota. Well, this nourishment can actually lead to a more diverse and healthier immune system and microbiome. And it's often linked to aid with your digestion, enhance your immune function, and even lower the risk of chronic diseases. Now, there's something within the cerisa that it's packed with it and that your tummy loves. You know what that is? It's dietary fiber. Let's think of it as the food for the friendly bacteria in your gut. And well, the amount of fiber will actually depend on the ripeness of the fruit and where it was grown. But on average, if you eat around 100 grams of cerisa, it can give you, well, more or less 3 grams of this dietary fiber. Now, this fiber comes in two types. There's the one that dissolves in water and there's the one that doesn't. The one that doesn't dissolve in water, well, you can imagine a broom. A broom moving things along smoothly in your gut. Now, you might be wondering why this fiber is so cool anyways. Well, it's the welcome mat for the friendly bacteria in your gut. They love snacking on it. And well, whenever these bacteria are actually well fed, it can lead to improve your digestion. It makes sure that you get the most out of your food. It may boost your immune system and may even influence your mood. So when we eat foods rich in these kinds of fibers, such as the cerisa, it's like giving our gut buddies a big friendly high five. But that's not the only cool thing. Did you know that the microbiome of the cerisa is actually friends with the microbiome of the soil? This connection between the cerisa and the microbiome serves as a testament to the intricate and delicate relationships that exist in the natural world. It also demonstrates that even the smallest, most ordinary looking things can have a profound impact on our health. It reminds us that nature provides us with the tools and allies needed for our bodies to maintain our well-being from the microbiome within us to the microbiome of the cerisa and all the other plants and nature that surrounds us. The cerisa, with its unsuspected influence on the microbiome, actually teaches us a valuable lesson of our choices and their consequences. It encourages us to see and look at the broader implications of our dietary decisions and highlights that our actions not only affect our own health, 
but the planet at large. Now, as we continue this journey, I'd like to take you from the microscopic realm of the microbiome to the vast and grand expanse of the universe. As we continue to explore this remarkable microcosm, we see the several parallels with the universe that stretches across the cosmos. Just like how the universe is vast and filled with planets, stars, galaxies, and all other forms of matter and energy, well, the microbiome is actually like a tiny universe within us, filled with different types of microbial species. Each microbe actually has its own job and unique traits. And well, the universe is all about connection, just like how it uses gravity to move stars and planets. The microbes within the microbiome actually talk to each other and work together in a complex web because our body is actually a collection of different tiny worlds, kind of like how the universe is a collection of different galaxy clusters. Each part of our body has its own set of different microbes, thus forming little ecosystems. Kind of like how, come to think of it, how the galaxies are in the universe. Both the universe and the microbiome are still filled with mysteries and wonders waiting to be discovered because there's still so much more we do not know yet. However, the common thread that ties everything together is that balance is crucial. Just like how the universe needs to stay in harmony and balance, the microbiome is just the same. It needs the right mix of biodiverse, and I highlight biodiverse microbes, in order to keep our bodies healthy and thus imbuing it with the same state of harmony. Now, the exciting part of our journey is actually understanding how the parallels between the universe and the microbiome can inspire us. It reminds us that the natural world, even at its smallest or largest scales, is still filled with mysteries and wonders waiting to be discovered. It encourages us to see and appreciate the intricate and delicate relationships that exist in the ecosystems within and beyond us. Now, as we are nearing the end of this journey through the captivating world of the Cerisa and the astonishing microbiome, I'd like to leave you with a heartwarming thought. Just like how the Cerisa provides nourishment to the microbiome within us, let us be reminded of the profound interconnectedness that binds us to the world around us. In our pursuit for health and happiness, we often overlook the little things, and I too am guilty of that the simple fruits of nature, and even the tiny organisms that silently support us. As we stand at the intersection of science and wonder, let us be reminded and let us carry with us the realization that every bite we take, every meal we share, and every choice we make can ripple through the unseen cosmos within us, affecting not only our own health, but the planet at large. Let us be mindful of the profound impact of our dietary decisions, not only on our well-being, but on the delicate balance of the world we inhabit. Let us cherish the incredible mysteries of the microbiome and the small and simple miracles that nature can offer us. After all, it's not just about the Cerisa, or not even the microbiome. More importantly, it's about our connectedness to each other and to the world we live in. As we continue to explore the science, actually the wonders of science and nature, let us do so with reverence, respect, gratitude, compassion, and a deeper understanding of the profound beauty that lies within and beyond us. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and may your paths be filled with discovery, warmth, and a deeper appreciation of the intricate web of life that sustains us all. Thank you.